Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I am a consultant anesthesiologist and specialized in neuroanesthesiology. And uh, today I would like to answer one of the question uh, which one of my subscribers had asked me on Instagram. And the question is, he actually wanted to become an orthopedic surgeon, but due to some circumstances, he ended up taking anesthesia and need counseling. So now uh, the person is stuck with certain uh, questions. Like, should I drop an ear and take up my dream branch of orthopedics? Or should I continue with anesthesia? Second thing is, if I continue with anesthesia, will I really enjoy this branch? Because I didn't want to be on the head side, I really wanted to be on the operating side of the patient. And will that haunt me throughout my life? And the third question is that, will I earn enough with anesthesia? Because it is a, uh, many of us think that, or with orthopedics, we make a lot of money, but with anesthesia, can I make that such kind of a money? And uh, the fourth thing is that, will the society respect me? Okay, like a clinician gets a lot of respect in the society. With anesthesia, can we get that? So these are the things which are running in the person's mind and these questions would be haunting him. So I, what I thought is uh, this kind of situation is there for many of you who have taken anesthesia and who actually wanted to become surgeons, who wanted to become radiologists and all that. And uh, so for all of you, for such kind of people, this is my answer. So number one thing which I'd like to tell you is the specialties like anesthesia, rehabilitation medicine and uh, radiation oncology, nuclear medicine are not present during the MBBS training. Uh, in fact, the pulmonology also is being removed from the MBBS training. So in future, even that won't be there. So you wouldn't be having any clue about these specialties. So uh, you really don't know how uh, good these branches are. Okay, because I have seen uh, radiation oncologists who are making a lot of money, who have a lot of respect in the society and also a nuclear medicine specialist who are heading nuclear medicine uh, in big corporate hospitals making crazy amounts of salaries and even I know anesthesiologists who make uh, you know crazy salaries even in corporates and also who have made their own setups like intensive care units and emergency units and small hospitals they have built and there are people who have made 20 lakhs per month Okay, you didn't see such kind of people. You only you only saw people uh, in orthopedic surgery and during your MBBS time, and you think that that is the this, those are the only professions where you can make crazy amount of money and respect. So the main reason is that. So the most important thing would be uh, you have to go all in now. Okay, you should not be in a confused mindset and create trouble for you as well as the department where you are in. Okay, if you are in a kind of confused mindset you will not do justice for yourself and also for the department. So first you need to come out of it and understand that there are many specialities which are beautiful. They can make your career beautiful careers in that. But for that you have to go all in and you have to actually, uh, you know, give your 100% into that or 200% into that and you will surely become successful. Okay. And uh, coming to the finances, uh, what I would like to tell you is uh, there are surgeons who make very less amount. You have seen only the successful ones who are driving Benz and Audi and BMW, but there are many people who are actually making very meager amounts. Okay, So you wouldn't see them because you only see the successful people. In the same way, anesthesiologists, you have not seen the successful ones. You have interacted maybe with people who are not making enough money. So that is the reason maybe that misconception is there in your mind. You need to th seriously think about it. And because uh, with anesthesia, you can actually get into you know any country very easily because there is a lot of demand in Middle East countries and UK, Australia and many countries you can plan with some experience after your PG in India. Okay, for a surgeon to go to such kind of places might become difficult for specialties which I mentioned, you know, all these specialties, they are in a lot of demand in other countries. Okay, you need to understand that. And uh, if will I earn like a surgical speciality? So because in my some of my videos previously I told that there is a ceiling in anesthesia. See when I make a video what I try to do is I try to generalize. See I, I don't talk about outliers. I talk about people who are within the two standard deviations and that is why I tell that there is a ceiling. But there is no ceiling for people who are the best in the particular sector. Okay. For the best in the particular sector system will give them and appreciate and they will give that particular person crazy amounts of salaries. So if you are uh, really uh, you know, concerned about the earnings, then you have to be out there, you have to go all in, you have to put the best and then you can make a lot of money with NSH also. So then uh, about society, see society uh, or family respects you 
okay when you take a clinical branch okay with a branches uh, like anesthesia radiology and oncology and uh, you know the nuclear medicine initially they won't understand it see when you yourself being an mbbs person don't know anything about it how can you expect a person in your family to know about it it is impossible for them to know about this but they will know one day when you become successful in your career when you make lot of money when you meet them driving a benz or bmw or make a big villa or a big house then they will understand okay it's more like a delayed gratification you need to first invest in yourself build a career and then obviously society will know <coughs> what society will uh, see superficial things like you know money and the kind of cars you drive if you really bother about the so- what society thinks about you then in clinical branches initially they will uh, appreciate you <coughs> when you take a surgical branch all your family members and all your uh, uncles and aunts will come to you and they'll be like oh wow my beta is ultimate but these kind of specialties initially they will not understand you need to explain what you need to do for me actually when i go to any party or any family get together uh, i am a neuroanesthesiologist so i need to explain them what i actually do what kind of complex work i do and even after explaining they might understand might not understand okay so then finally they'll uh, come to what house you have what kind of this thing you have and finally they understand what kind of a uh, what the person i am so what i'm trying to tell you is uh, these kind of specialties when you're taking you should not go with the society initially but they will understand over a period of time or 7 to 10 years if you invest and become successful and then all the people who initially uh, didn't understand what you did uh, what you're doing and commented so later on they all will understand what you're doing so if you're really bothered about the society then this is my reply and uh, so what i really try to tell you is you need to uh even uh, you any branch you take what you need to do is you have to become see if you really want to earn crazy amounts you have to be the best okay how to be the best you need to have the hard skills required and you need to have soft skills required and you need to have a very good cv and you need a personal brand okay i made a video on how to make 5 to 10 lakhs uh, in a month you can go into the video i explained a five step process there okay i don't want to repeat here i made a five step process mindset ch- mindset change apprentice personal branding building of what building an empire so you can go into that video i explain in detail about every step you need to follow those steps and uh, it is very difficult to do that i'm not telling it's easy but you need to put in that kind of a work ethic okay uh, if you are thinking it will be easy it is not going to be easy you need to put in a very hard work ethic and then if you uh, work for a significant amount of hours in a week then you will surely become successful whatever field you take okay so but it will take some time it's a kind of delayed gratification you need to invest hours and uh, days and years and you will surely get the result okay so it doesn't matter uh, which specialty you are taking so most of my videos i really emphasize but this uh, is more like any specialty you take okay clinical or non clinical clinical initially people will like but later on Uh, you know any specialty these are the five steps you need to follow if you follow you can become successful hope uh, you guys like the video and uh, the uh, message i want to convey so thank you very much guys and uh, hope the person who messaged me in instagram uh, uh, got his answer and uh, good luck for your future and i don't think you need to drop in here and again change change over your specialty to some other uh, uh, specialty you continue with this okay and start working on you and start putting in the work ethic and surely you will be successful in future thank you as usual dr dheeraj masapur logging off roger that